We got Montel Jackson back here on the program who's going to be taking on Andre Sukumta at UFC 236 on April 13th. Montel, what's up, man? How are you? Pretty good, man. How you guys doing? I'm doing awesome. It's good to catch up with you again. And I know today uh, on Sunday, it's like kind of a rest day, but I know you got in some rolling today. Uh, how'd that go? Uh, pretty good, man. Got my ass kicked. Okay. Kicked some ass. Just the way I like it. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, we haven't seen you fight since December. Of course, that was a highlight reel finish uh, over uh, Brian Kelleher. Um, you know, just has life changed at all since since getting a big win like that, or has it pretty much just been the same? Oh, man, you know me. Still the same old guy. And there's too much change. Well, did you did like the social media following go up? Did you have people reach out to you? Like, what was it like after getting that win? Uh, uh, social media stuff. I really don't pay pay too much attention to it, man. Uh, like uh, I try to keep myself uh, as like no off the radar as possible. So uh, it, it wasn't that many uh, people reaching out to me. Did you want uh, this this much of a break in between fights, or were you looking to get a fight a little bit sooner? Uh, it, it was just about whatever, man, you know, everything uh, happens for a reason. So with the given time, I just use that to get better, you know? Well, I was going to say, uh, they say good things come to those who wait. Uh, you're on this huge card, uh, UFC 236, just your excitement level when you found out not only you'd be fighting in a, in a great city like Atlanta, but there's like two title fights on this card, some pretty big names. You must've been pretty happy about that. Uh, happy isn't the word, man, you know? Just, you know, a little bit, you know, a little bit, you know, for me, it means to me, like, you know, I got to work that much harder. Okay. So you're seeing it as more of a pressure situation then, like there'll be more eyeballs on this card. Yeah, it's, it's always eyeballs, uh, like on you and then, especially coming off a win like that, you know, you got to, you got to really go back to your ground board and you got to like improve. So for me, it just, it's just all about that, man. Always improving. And you got a really uh, cool opponent in Andre Sukumta, a guy who's never in a boring fight. Uh, how do you feel like you match up against him here? Uh, I, I don't know, man. A fight to fight, man. Just gonna get out there and see see what it does, man. You know, whatever happens, happens. Training camp going at uh, Pura Vida. Um, I know you had your teammate Zach Otto fight. Uh, you know, last weekend. I know things didn't go his way in that one. Now, how's how's everything going at the gym right now? Oh, good, man. You know, Every, everybody's just focused, man. Everyone's focused on getting better, and uh. With, with that given, with, with that being said, it's just like if if you show up if you show up to a gym like like ours, you got no choice other than then to get better, you know. Do you train with everyone there, like even some of the bigger guys? Like I know Alton Cunningham has uh, talked about a fight coming up against, uh, I believe it's Mike Biggie Rhodes. Uh, you know, a lot of things going on at your gym. Yeah, I be I be whooping Alton big ass. Yeah. Okay. I, you know, like, I don't give a fuck about how big you is. I'm whooping your ass. Okay. Who who are some of the other guys you've been training with for this camp? Everybody, man. Every, like the, the the whole run of the mill, man, you know. No, I don't think like, but I ain't gonna walk away from one either, so you know. If 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 you know, if that motherfucker if, you know, during sparring or whatever, if they they looking for a partner, if they look my way, you win some trouble. Okay. Um how's the weight cut going ahead of this fight? Uh, just like normal, man. Walking around in the forties, so no, no big deal. Okay, you don't cut a lot of weight, do you? No. Yeah, because you're. I, I was gonna say, yeah. Some guy for every uh, fighter, it's different, I guess. But for you, you don't have to go on like a hardcore diet. Like, do you eat pretty clean year round, or is it just um, you just don't have to cut a lot? Period. I usually I don't I don't gotta cut a lot, but you know, like when a fight camp rolls around, and you know, I st I start to like cut out fast food and everything and cut out sugar and cut out candy and cut out eating like cereal and shit in the morning. So it ain't no real big difference, but you know, it's it just like a, like, like you treat your body just, just, just like a, a race car or a fighter jet. You know, you can't be putting bullshit or crappy shit in your body and expecting it to run efficiently. So yeah, you need the good fuel, sure, right? Yeah. I, I get the good fuel inside, you know, who's going to be in your corner for this fight? uh jake solo zach same three people okay keeping things simple if it's working for you i guess you got to use it um how do you see this fight uh playing out on the 13th you know andre is a very tough guy to finish uh do, do you feel like you can finish him like you did in your last fight i don't know man you know we be like I, i'm not a guy I don't, like big on predictions but i always tell people that it's, it's gonna be a fight you know 
whatever happens is gonna happen inside of there. Like I'm I'm no mind reader, I'm no I'm no freaking fortune teller, none of that stuff, you know. Only thing I can tell you for sure is gonna be a fight. And uh what what's uh what's downtime looking like right now? Are you watching any T V, playing any video games, anything like that? Oh, like we're training and everything and you know, other responsibilities, man. I, I really I really don't have time, a lot of time to even watch T V. I do got a game. I do I do play Xbox. I if I do get a chance to play, you know, I, I will play like Battlefield, Call of Duty and stuff like that. But like other than that, like I really don't watch T V. I don't watch the news because it's depressing. It's all it's all like stuff that they propagate. So I, I don't watch any of that stuff. Um sometimes I, I do go to the movies. I do go out to eat a lot. I do um I do uh somewhat call myself a foodie. And one day on the fly, I, I start vlogging and, you know, become a food critic. That's, like, that's, uh, that's the career after fighting is the food critic. Yeah. Travel a little bit. Because I, I, I pretty much pride myself. And I, I've, I've ate in, like, almost every restaurant in the city of Milwaukee and the surrounding areas. What's the so best like, restaurant in Milwaukee, then? I, gotta, I, I don't know if I'll ever visit Milwaukee, but, you know, we got to know these things. I want to hear the Montel Jackson review. What, what gets the five stars, the two thumbs up? Uh, what, what kind of food are you looking for? Doesn't matter. I'm a I'm a tourist in town. I like pretty much anything. What would you recommend? It's it's this it's this little restaurant uh, on 91st on West Brown Road. It's called Thai Bangkok. Okay. And what do they serve? They serve they serve Thai food, and they serve a uh, traditional Hmong food. So it's a pretty dope place. I'll take your word for it. And uh, we certainly got to watch this fight. It's coming up here April 13th. It is UFC 236. Uh, Montel, always appreciate you, you taking the time, man. Just remind people where they can find you on social media. And if you got any sponsors or shout outs, the floor is yours. Oh, man. You guys can follow me at uh, Yo Soy Rapido on Instagram. You can follow me at Montello135 on Twitter. And you can follow me on my Facebook fan page at Montel Quick Jackson. And I'd like to shout out uh, my gym, Pervita. Shout out. My other gym, I roll at a uh, 360 Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, 360 Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Scott Houston, and all the teammates over there that I roll with in the morning. Uh, shout out Iridium, the management group. Shout out Float Life. Shout out Speed of Sport, Nick Villegas. Shout out two pro star athletes, and shout out Float Life. They hooked me up. I got Float a lot too.